Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to tell you why dive shops don't want to fill your old tanks. Stay tuned, we're going to get started real soon. Is your tank from the 1970s? Or from the 1980s? Do your tanks look like one of these? The reason dive shops don't want to fill your tanks is because they crack. They crack at the neck. Now, why were these dive tanks cracking? It was because of the alloy. They were made from 6351 alloy or aluminum. Tanks manufactured in the 1970s through the 1980s were made from 6351 aluminum. That had a tendency to crack at the necks. When did they stop using 6351? Well, the only way we know is this list put out by Luxford Manufacturing, which is the actual manufacturer of the tanks, this is how we know when they change aluminum. And when did they change? A aluminum 80 was changed in January of 88. So from January of 88 to present date, they have been using 6061 aluminum. Manufacturers that have used the 6351, Luxfer, Walter Kitty, and Norris Industry. The only one that is still in production is the Luxfer cylinder, Not Walter Kitty and Norris are no longer in production. Here we have three tanks. The yellow tank is a Luxfer, the silver tank in the center is a Walter Kitty, and the blue tank on the right is a Catalina. Catalina never used 6351. They were always manufacturing tanks with 6061 aluminum, so they really never were susceptible to neck cracking. The tank in the center, Walter Kitty, and the yellow tank were manufactured with 6351 and they were susceptible to the neck cracking. Also want to point out on the center tank, the Walter Kitty, if you look at the neck, it's really unusual. It's kind of different from all other tanks. It's a larger neck and you can see how it slopes down to the side walls of the tank. I'm going to bring this camera a little closer and what I want you to see is the WK that's stamped onto the actual tank. That is Walter Kitty. If you see one of these tanks or you own one of these tanks, please do not try to have these serviced. If you've been told that your 6351 aluminum scuba tank is against the law to service, fill, or hydro test, that is incorrect. Dive shops don't write the law. CGA, Compressed Gas Association, and the CFR, Code of Federal Regulations, write the law, and Department of Transportation will enforce the law. According to the CFR, if we're going to keep these 6351s in service, you must do an eddy current test. Eddy current test is an electronic box with a probe inserted into the actual threads of the tank looking for cracks. Now, it's very difficult with the naked eye to find these cracks. This is why we use an electronic probe. The probe is inserted into the actual neck threads, rotated, sending an electronic pulse throughout the threads looking for actual cracks. Work simply by inserting into the actual tank neck, rotating it through the actual threads, and when it does find a crack, it will send a spike through the actual graft, and you will see that there is a crack. Once they are tested, they need to be stamped VE alongside the hydro date. On this tank, you can see the hydro date of February 2014, and alongside it, VE, which signifies visual eddy. If your dye shop refuses to fill your 6351 aluminum, I have to agree with them. Even though CFR says that they can still be serviced with hydro testing and with visual eddy, I have here a couple samples of why I don't fill them anymore. These cylinders that I have alongside of me, they're actual scuba tanks. I had them cut for teaching purposes, but they all have cracks in the neck. This one right here actually has two cracks on either side, 180 degrees, which was common when tanks started to crack. They developed one crack and then they developed a second crack. Second crack is 180 degrees. What this is telling you is that the neck is starting to separate. So this could be a very dangerous tank at the fill station. I don't like to service these tanks myself is because I have two samples here. This particular tank was hydro tested in 2014 with a visual eddy came into my shop in 2016 i asked the customer can i look inside no charge i just want to make sure that the tank is not cracked the customer said no problem i opened the tank up i looked inside the neck i found the crack not happy with that i showed the customer he agreed we took the tank out of service i kept it had it cut for teaching purposes 
Well, that's one tank that had a current hydro with visual eddy that cracked two years after the actual test. This silver tank or gray tank also came into my shop um, with a hydro date of July 2013 with a visual eddy. Came into my shop August 2013, a month later. I said to the customer, can I look inside? No charge. He said, sure, why not? I did, and I found the crack. Having two tanks with current hydros and visual eddy tells me that these tanks can pass both the hydro and the visual eddy and crack soon thereafter. So for these two reasons alone, I no longer service these tanks. And if your dye shop says, sorry, we can't service it, I have to agree with them. I think it's time to take these tanks out of service. If you have one of these 6351 aluminum tanks, I suggest either aluminum scrap, maybe yard art, but please don't try to put them back in the service. I think it's time to take them out of service. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, comments, please leave it down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can continue bringing you guys videos on the scuba business. Thanks again for watching.